So I want to share this article about Bill Clinton. Trigger warning. Oh, trigger um, warning. Yeah. So this is Bill Clinton. Don't show us Bill Clinton naked. No, you don't see him naked. <laughs> um, this oh, is from massage. the Daily Mail, and it shows Bill Clinton getting a neck massage from a young woman, okay. 22 at the time, Shantae Davies. And she, very credibly, accused Epstein of rape. Now, what's interesting is that she kind of defends Clinton. She said he was a gentleman. But be that as it may, Bill Clinton was someone on a plane with someone who was raping this person, which is in itself indicting, um, because I don't think this was could have been much of a secret. She explained the massage happened when we had a stopover for the jet to refuel. And while we were in the terminal, the ex-president was complaining of stiffness from falling asleep in his chair. Guillen chimed in to be funny and said that I could give him a massage. Everyone had a little chuckle, but, began, but Guillen, in her prim British accent, insisted and said I was good. The president then asked me, would you mind giving it a crack? He turned his back to me, and I reached up, and I started to rub out the kink in our former president's neck and shoulder. And yeah. are we to believe, are we to believe that the former president of the United States was so naive right. that, he, right. that he visited uh, Epstein's island, that he flew around on Epstein's jet, but he was so innocent and naive that he had no idea that there was, uh, you know, uh, untoward behavior going on. Right. And when there just happened to be a beautiful 22 year old girl hanging around them, Right. And he was offered a neck massage that he would never suspect that anything was going on that he should be concerned with. Bill Clinton's a pretty yeah. smart guy. Yes. He's probably smarter than I am. And I know what was going on. And if I <laughs> said yes, it would, because, would be, be specifically because I knew what was going on. I wouldn't go there and then argue. I, well, gee, I just thought they were going to play badminton. I mean, I think none of us are naive enough to think that Bill Clinton wasn't enjoying it, himself yeah. on that island considering that you know we know how old was monica Lewinsky, right and yeah. don't, forget, don't forget epstein when he went to like harvard and some of the colleges that he would go to and he would you know tour their technology section and he was uh, 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 allegedly he was making large donations i would argue probably facilitating large donations but it is uh, there's been i mean he's shown up at some of these places and he would have a, a couple of young girls with him so much so that people there were uncomfortable with the situation and made it known that they were uncomfortable with the situation it's almost like he was kind of gaudy about it like he walked around like hey everybody knows who i am I'm the guy that walks around with a couple of young babes and, you know, I'm just going to flaunt it in front of your face because I can do do that. Oh, and by the way, I've got unlimited pockets, too. So everybody keeps their mouth shut. We all know what's going on. We just keep our mouths shut. So it was that's the thing about it. He was like gaudy and open about it. And people some people would be kind of upset and get out of the way. But there was so much money flowing. There was so much power flowing around this guy. Um, that people accepted what he was doing. And of course, the wealthy and powerful accepted apparently the, um, you know, the benefits that he was able to provide, shall we say. You know, Clinton's team said he had only been on the plane a few times, but the log showed that he'd been on like 23 times, mm -hmm. um, which is significant in itself. What, what Bill Clinton did is what we, you know, in the investigative world, we refer to as a creeping admission. And that is, I'm only going to give you as much as I have to. Well, I've only been there one time. Well, we've got evidence that you've been there right. more. Okay, two. All right, well, we've got evidence that you've been here 26. Okay, 26. You know, I creep, my admission just creeps a little bit further based on the, and, and a creeping admission is also often like kind of feeling you out to see how much info you've got. And that's what Bill Clinton did. It was a creeping admission. And every experience that I've had with a creeping admission there was a creep doing the creepy admission. <laughs> they were as yeah, guilty as hell. Exactly. Creepy right. admission, admission creep.